Hey, I'm out at Lowe's and I'm looking to pick out some paint colors for a rental property that we're about to put on the market. So I figured I'd take this time to go over some paint trends with you just in case you were thinking of giving your home a new look. Uh, there's no quicker or easier way to breathe new life into your home than with a coat of paint. But choosing the colors can be tricky. Hey, we need to figure out what's fashionable, what's going to work best, where, and most importantly, what are you still going to likely love? over the next year or more. So when we're looking at paints, we want to think about the Zen Zone. Okay? Uh, with the Zen Zone, it's a gentle and appealing mix of soft greens and putty tones. The grounded palette is the one that to watch for. Okay? Color planning uh, and communications manager at Deluxe uh, put out a, a little synopsis about uh, this. It's talking about being soothing natural uh, palettes with warmth that will work beautifully uh, throughout the season's underlying brown base. Uh, they also said that it's also an easy palette to use and will work in just about any space in the home. Okay, uh, key colors are like using Deluxe's Pancakes Mix, which is a putty, a Time Capsule, which is a stony brown, Batangi, which is a pale gray, a Ghost Pheasant, which is a pink coral. Uh, you want to pair them with natural timber, matte finished ceramics, things like that. The lighter colors from the grounded palettes are versatile enough to be used in any space of the home also. Uh, you can use it inside or out. Uh, using accents of stronger browns such as Deluxe's Knot, uh, a coral, that's a coral to create a mood of sophistication uh, throughout the house. They recommend using that in the bedroom. Uh, number two is the Spice Trail. So expect to see exotic hues making a statement. Uh, designing this will soften up the focus on texture. Uh, so think of like layering and quilting and padding. Uh, spicy colors such as plum uh, and sunbank pink will act with accents of gold. Uh, they'll come to the forefront bringing in a relaxed and natural feeling of the interior. Uh, key colors are brick, sunbaked pink, plum, and gold. Uh, you want to pair them with textures of soft furnishings. Think of uh, quilted lay layering or padded items, natural, hand-woven fabrics, um, pigment finishes, things like that. You want to use them in uh, like brick and terracotta tones to add a cozy, casual vibe to living spaces. Accents of brass or plum introduce a touch of sepumptuous. Um, number three, retro futuristic. They think of catwalk trends of blending vintage style with futuristic touches. Um, as a response to current geopolitical and climate concerns, uh, having a protective or nurturing mood has emerged not just for ourselves but for the planet. So think of the protective palette, uh, layers of red and orange based with hues to create a luxurious feel. You want to do soft touches of mineral pinks and greens to bring a balance of calm. Uh, the key colors are red, mineral pink, and soft green, and you want to pair them with natural materials such as timber, rattan, curvy organic lines, bent steel furniture, and black accents. Where you want to use them at? The nature-based tones of this palette can be used throughout the home. Number four. Muty hues, okay. smoky, cool, and muted gray blues are hugely popular with the biggest standouts to expect to continue through 2021. Okay. Uh, think of complex deep, deep greens, black forest greens, decadence, blue greens, and vibrant olive tones to create a lot of interest. Key colors are moody greens such as Persian green and Anchorage. Uh, softer greens such as duck egg and frozen, uh, and deep teals such as uh, Viridian and, and Coast. You want to pair them with dark timbers, uh, tactile linens, and terrazzo. Uh, where you want to use those at? Anywhere you like. Uh, these paints and colors create beautiful backdrops without being intrusive uh, or dominating, so they will work well with any decorative style that you have. Uh, zesty greens. Uh, is, that's no surprise that green will continue to, to reign supreme in, uh, through 2021, but the coming years will see it take a fresh zesty turn according to uh, Wendy Rennie. Uh, the colors and concept manager at Himes Point, or uh, Himes Paint, excuse me. This palette incorporates varying tones of soft greens and contrast, and it has a gentle and grounding putty tone. It's soft, fresh, and uh, focused look as well. There are great alternatives to traditional neutrals, uh, such as the pink putty, um, the millennial pink we've come to love. Uh, key colors are fresh greens, such as Heyman's Paint, uh, Icy Morn, uh, leaky leaf and pastel pine and a putty pink such as Hames uh, paint of Pell Cadorvian. Uh, you want to pair them with warm gray tiles such as natural timber, uh, linen and re even recycled pieces. 
You can use these in the living areas, uh, bedrooms, and any interior space that you want to create a smooth transition uh, from inside and out. Now lastly, uh, warm neutrals. You want to expect to see a shift towards warmer whites, grays, and neutrals in 2021. Um, so moving forward, the neutral palette is going to have an almost earthy tone to it. Uh, key neutrals are British Paints uh, White Disclosure. It's also a warm gray, excuse me, a warm white. Uh, Gentle Wind is a stony white. Neutral Gray uh, is a refined stone that's set in stone uh, with a warm mid-tone uh, gray. You want to pair them with mid-tone timbers and tiles and Lux Brass, uh, Bronze, and Copper Accents. And you want to use these uh, because they work equally well inside or out of the home. And you want to consider combining them with deep colors such as Glazed Rub, a deep red, uh, a burnt orange, or an exotic terracotta, or a rich brown such as Dark Master, or a deeper, more dramatic look. Uh, for more help, helpful home tips, you can check out my YouTube page by searching David Karras.